This week is Missouri Representative Stephen Weber of Columbia. The term limited state rep is running for state senate, and just today his campaign announced that it has raised a half a million dollars for the 2016 race. I start our conversation by asking what Representative Weber thinks of Caleb Browden's measures on ethics reform. It's a disappointingly small step. Uh, the bill that uh, Representative Rowden brought to the floor uh, does not apply to the members of the legislature. And to me, that's unacceptable. I think people are tired of politicians uh, writing rules that don't apply to themselves. Uh, and also, it only applies for a year. Uh, on the floor, I actually offered, uh, I tried to offer an amendment that would have made it apply to everybody currently and extend the waiting period from being a legislator to a lobbyist for three years. Um, but Representative Rowden blocked a vote on that, and so uh, we were unable to get a vote on that. What about the argument you can't uh, retroactively apply this law? It wouldn't be retroactive. It would be, uh, it would be applying to us in the future, saying that in the future... Right now. Um, uh, yeah, the people that are currently in, in the future cannot be lobbyists um, for up to three years. I think that's a much stronger policy, um, and I think it's what we need to be doing. Also, I think we need to address campaign finance limits. Um, I was disappointed that none of the Republican proposals uh, would do anything to limit the million-dollar checks um, that are being written in uh, Missouri politics today. And I think everybody agrees that until we clean up uh, money in politics, we really haven't fixed the problem. So you say stopping lobbyists lobbyist gifts is certainly a good start, but it's not enough right now. We also need to limit uh, campaign contributions. I think we need to do a lot of things, but I think campaign contributions uh, need to be on the top of the list. When people are donating hundreds of thousands of dollars to one candidate, when checks are uh, totaling a million dollars, um, that's drowning up the voice of the people. And I think uh, there's, there's universal agreement that money in politics is a tremendous problem. And if we don't address that, we can't say we've cleaned up Jefferson City. What's your idea to fix it? I think we should have a strong system of campaign and finance limits, which is something that voters approved when it was on the ballot uh, several years ago. I think we should ban committee-to-committee uh, -committee transfers so people can't launder money through different committees. Uh, so I think we should have a strict, um, transparent process that has limits, that gives the, the Ethics Commission the ability to investigate. And I think we should s try to say we're going to have the strongest ethics laws in the country. Um, and unfortunately, the Republican legislature is trying to see what the least they can do and get away with. You also wanted to talk about uh, your working to get funding for the nuclear reactor. Yeah, uh, so job creation is always an important thing, mm -hmm. and we're in education. And so we're always trying to find uh, the way that job creation and education can work together. And one way that we can do that is utilizing the MU Research Reactor. Uh, so Representative Kip Kendrick and I have been working to try to get some funding to expand training programs there. We've got an opportunity uh, to bring high-tech medical manufacturing um, here to Columbia and to Boone County and to become a world leader in the radio pharmaceutical industry. Um, basically, you can take um, uh, these isotopes and, and put them in the reactor, um, ra douse them with radiation, and then they can be used to diagnose and screen for cancer. Uh, and because of this unique asset we have, we are uniquely positioned to be a world leader in this high-tech medical manufacturing. And it can really take off. It can bring thousands of jobs to Columbia, and it can be a perfect example of the nexus between university research and job creation. And so that's a priority this year. Is that getting bipartisan support? Um, I'm hopeful that it will. It's uh, something that Representative Kendrick and I have been working with the, the, the Columbia business community on over the last year, and we're just now moving it sort of into the legislative process. And uh, I'm hopeful that everybody um, will, will realize this is a tremendous opportunity to create jobs in Boone County and will be supportive of it. And as we are just days away, basically, from the State of the State address, mm -hmm. um, what do you think the State of the State is? Um, I think that it's good. I think that uh, uh, we have a lot of work to do. Um, we have a lot of things we need to continue to, to, to try to close the, the funding gap in education. Uh, we need to do things like expand Medicaid and provide health care to more people. Um, we have a lot of progress to make, and I'm optimistic that we can try to get it done. Even on Medicaid expansion, when the Republicans have said it's a no-go? I'm not always optimistic that we're going to get it done uh, in the 2016 legislative session, but I'm optimistic that we're going to be able to, um, over the long, long term, uh, move the state in the right direction and, and cover more people and, and do things like fund education, create jobs. I think we have very concrete plans um, to do those things. I hope that the Republican legislature won't get in the way, but um, if they do, we'll, 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 try to keep, we'll try to keep working on it. Came out on a very short notice, Representative Weber. Thank you oh, very much.